Hey guys, this is Jezza back with another attack strategy video. This is a two star strategy, Town Hall 10 versus 11. Um, very powerful. It is the baby drag queen walk method here. Um, so what I've got cooked up here, I have seven wall breakers, which I didn't need that many. Um, I've got four uh, healers, 17 baby drags. I have a CC filled with bowlers and one giant. I have my king and queen, obviously, and then I have five rage. And I would usually bring two poison. I didn't even cook my poison for this raid. I was just practicing. Because in the last three wars, we've seen the same base. This super ring here. We've seen it by like their top bases. You know, one, one or two of the top bases in the last few wars. And a couple of them were arranged wars. So this is a very popular base. So uh, what I want to do is break down how I did this. I got a huge percentage on this attack with a legitimate golem in the CC. So something you might see. Um, so anyway, I'm going to roll it. Um, I was having a hard time with my queen walking to the left because I was starting from the same position that you're seeing here. So I decided to start out with bowlers and the king under rage and just clear out a big path so I could start my raid over here on this side by like where the archer tower is. So one rage and the king got me about 20% on this base and wiped out a lot of area that I had to cover. So I've got 22%. Looks like I'm going to get like 23% and now the queen's in. Um, and then I put the healers on her, got my rage, rage her up, wall break in. I only needed about three of those wall breakers, but I, you know, just kept going. I got a huge opening here. And I've still got three rage left with 30% of the base down. So that's the beauty of this strategy is because you're using baby drags instead of something like Valks to cut to the core, you have, you're, you're not wasting, not that a jump is a waste, but you're not having to use a jump spell to get over that, you know, chasm there. Um, so I can, I can just rage out my queen and make sure that I keep her alive. Still got the ability, still got... Three rage spells. I'm going to use one of them here again in a second, I think. Actually, I don't need to because right now I'm still only being targeted by the one point defense. So I drop a baby drag down on the back um, to get some more percentage and also distract that archer tower for a second so I can get more. I can take longer with my queen before I have to throw the rage down. So I throw the rage down, um, get, the, get the queen raged up there. Uh, the CC pulls. There's a golem in the CC. Um, going after my queen. Usually I would have that extra poison spell, so I would have thrown that down. But I didn't even have that, and I'm still going to work. I had that haste. I was like, what the heck? We'll throw the haste down, um, get a little bit more, um, you know, a little more help for my queen here. Um, and then I'm going to throw down the last rage here in just a second and go ahead and get that going. And then at that point, it's just the baby drags. They're going to go straight in from the side here. Uh, once I've cleared my funnel, I've cleared my funnel now, so you'll start to see them uh, come in the back. And I don't even send the whole group of them. I think I send in maybe eight of them down straight to the town hall. I got the one rage saved. You need to have a rage saved um, because they, they don't have that extra damage that they get when they're by themselves. So you just rage them up. Even though there's uh, air defenses on it, they're still taking that out. I drop the rest of the baby drags down at the bottom to get percentage. Queen, because I have the baby drags down, these archer towers are not targeting my queen. So it keeps my queen up. And my queen's going to survive this raid and um, really get a ton of percentage. So I end up with a 78% two-star on this raid. Um, really great value. I'm going to use this in the war that we're in currently. With the proper spells, of course, I'll have... Uh, I might keep the haste, but at least a one poison uh, to slow down. But I really like using the bowlers at the beginning. That is huge value. Um, gets you started, makes you cre able to create the funnel and make your queen walk the way you want her to walk. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. I, this is a really powerful strategy and can really help on a lot of bases. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, also check out more great YouTubers um, on the Clash Watch app as always. I'm adding some more today. I uh, just want to really give a library there where people can go through and find the people that they want to find really easily. 
But until next time, this is Jezza. Try out these baby drags. They're pretty sweet.